As families across the city gear up for Thanksgiving like no other because, of course, of the pandemic, concerns continue surrounding the capital's response to the virus. How can we continue to tackle COVID-19 head on and what more can we do to flatten the curve so that hospitals don't get overwhelmed? That's the big issue we're always told. We've got to protect the most vulnerable. We always like to check in with Dr. Raywat Dianan, who is joining us live this morning. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Does, do you agree with the Premier we're starting to see a flattening of the curve? No, I don't agree with that at all. I think we're into uh, more muddier waters than that. Plus, with the testing being scaled back, we're going to see some artificial flattening in the coming days. So, no, we're, we're not flattening for real. Expand on that, because, uh, you know, there is some um, dispute over with the changes we're doing now with testing, we can benefit from it. Others are saying, well, we're still clearing the backlog, so the numbers are actually relevant still today. Yeah, the numbers are still relevant, and the backlog is being cleared, so I don't expect a downturn rapidly but eventually we'll get through that backlog and then the slow down testing will start to manifest as an artificial reduction in cases keep in mind that many parts of the province also have stopped contact tracing with the same rigor so we're not finding as many cases that we know exist so don't get a false sense of security if the numbers start to diminish a little bit what do you think is really going on here what's really going on here is that we have intense community transmission maybe of milder cases, but transmission nevertheless, and we cannot keep up with tracking them. Even though we have the appointments now for the, uh, for the testing? Well, that, that's going to help. The appointments are going to help, I think. Now, the problem with the appointments is it's unclear who is discouraging from coming. We want to discourage the asymptomatic, casual people who just think, oh, maybe I've got COVID, let's find out. We want to encourage people with symptoms or who have been exposed to get tested. And so, you know, that those long lineups may have been daunting to some people. Now that's not part of the picture. Hopefully that selects the right people to get tested. We'll wait and see. We'll see what happens. But um, I'm hopeful that it's a better strategy, especially as the weather gets bad and people don't want to line up more. The premier is holding off on uh, uh, calling for further measures, go you know into a next phase of the lockdown, possibly restaurants, gyms, that sort of thing. Is is that a good call in your in your given the fact that he says he hasn't seen evidence of transmission in those places? Well, first of all, there is evidence of transmission in those places. The CDC has an important report out showing that um, the there's a strong percentage of people who have been tested positive who show that they've been to a restaurant or a bar within the last couple of weeks. Second of all, in Toronto, the contact tracing that does exist, about 44% of cases have been in a restaurant re recently. So those aren't conclusive, but there's strong signals that restaurants and bars are driving much of this. But I, I guess, Second of all, it's not my place to drive policy. Right. Sorry. No, I, I get that. And I, 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 that's, uh, go ahead. Oh, that's not a place to drive policy, but I will say epidemiologically, what we need to do now is find levers to slow transmission. And we know from looking at the population dynamic that if we remove those opportunities for indoor popular spread, that that accomplishes our goal. And those are indoor dining, bars, etc. So to me, it's a bit of a no-brainer that especially in hot zone parts of the province, like Toronto, which is a flame in some ways in some neighborhoods i think it has to be done because we're heading into really bad territory there so do we do this for 28 days like in quebec or until the numbers flatten i mean what ideally is the solution for you to get control of this well until the numbers flatten but uh 28 days is probably enough if you do it early enough the trick here is to do it early enough. That's the nature of exponential growth. It's like investing. If you get in on the ground floor, you'll make a lot more profit than if you show up after the growth is already apparent. So the growth is starting to be apparent. Invest now. Get our, our money on the table now. Take uh, indoor spreading off the table so that we can avoid that explosive growth. Um, exp exponential growth has a way of seducing the human mind, which is pre-made to look at only a linear growth. We have a hard time understanding that if you wait a couple of days, this can get out of control really quickly. I got about 10 seconds left. What's the advice for Thanksgiving dinner? If you don't live in that house, don't go to that house. But if you really have to go, try to space yourself out, eat outside if you can, and, and just don't talk to each other's faces. Okay. Loud and clear, we hear it. Dr. Ray Watt, DNN, and thank you, sir. Appreciate it as always. Thank you.